Hey guys, welcome back. I'm Smith from Backbench Code. So in the last section, we have added a dark mode in our app, and in this section, we are going to create this project page. This nice project page. Here it is. I'm not going to add the animation in this section because it's a part of Framer Motion, and I'll make a separate video on Framer Motion. So let's see what we have in this project page. Okay, so at the top, I have this nav bar. Using that, I can filter out the projects. For example, these are all the projects, and if I click on React, these are all the projects made using React, and then if I click on Mongo. These are all the projects made using MongoDB and then Express and Django. Okay, so one project can belong to multiple categories. What I mean by that is just look at this Twitter clone. This Twitter clone made using React and the backend is made using Django. Mongo Django. Nice. And then if I click on a project, these are all the details about the project. So the project image, the GitHub link, the deployed version link, the title of the project, some description about the project, and then these are all the tech tags. Tech tags. Tech tag means what are the other popular libraries used in this project, or or some key points like REST API, authentication, and all these stuffs. You get the idea. Let me show you another project. Just go to all. These are all my projects. So click on this algorithm visualizer. Look at this. This is React, Firebase, and Framework Motion. And then anything else? Okay, let's talk about the layout. So at the top, I can create this nav bar easily. Easily, not easily, but we can create that. And then I have this project section. It is scrollable. It means it has a fixed height. So the approach will be again same. We'll be creating an array of objects, and then we'll just map over this and render a separate component. So that's the idea. Let's go back to the code editor. Okay. So first of all, let's create the interface, right? So let's just go to types.ts. Nice. And create the interface first. So export interface. Let's name this i project. So every project has a name which is a string it has a description which is also string it will have a image so image path or image url image path which will be a string and then deployed url url which will also be a string let's copy this this is github url and then the category and by category i mean the nav bar so this react mongo whatever mongo express django mongo django so this will be a string cool and then the key take key technologies i don't know if it is a good name or not so by key take i mean this one if i click on algo visualizer this react firebase framework motion some additional technologies okay oh this category will be an array of string cause one project may belong to multiple category and key tag will also be a string save this cool and now we can make a better type for this category instead of the string cause this will be also used for the filtering part so if i click on mongo express this will be also used for the filtering part so this is a sensitive data we don't want any typo here so for that we can create our own type which will only hold a category so let's create our own type export type is the keyword and the name of the type is category cool so it will be either react or node or express or i don't know django anything else uh -huh, mongo django mango uh -huh, that's it for now and then i replace this string with this category cool save this so now if i put something else in this category field like instead of react if i put react js typescript will say hey you can't use that okay that is cool my interface is ready and now just go to data.ts and let's create a data i'll be creating one object and then i'll just copy and paste cool so just export this out the name of the data is projects the name of the array not name of the data okay it will be an array and the type of the array will be i project should be auto imported let's see my auto import has done the job so i projects is imported from dot slash types that is cool thanks to my auto import so it's an object press control and space and look at this i can put a name the name is whatever some random hey you know what let me just copy the data the raw data so here is my one project my one object okay so every project has a name some description blah 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 and then this image path this image is coming from the slash images slash copy dot jpg I have not created this images folder yet. I'll be creating this folder inside this public folder. Cause remember I told you all the files inside this public folder will be hosted as static. 
so what i mean by static is look at this virtual.svg if i just go to the url so my local is 3000 and just go to virtual.svg i should see the svg here it is so i want all my images to be static so for that i'll be creating a folder inside this public you can just put all the images inside this public folder but i want this to be organized so for that let's create a folder called images i'll put all the images here but for now just continue okay so then after this image part i have this deployed url which is just a normal url and then this github url which is again a normal url and then this category so this is an array which has react so if i just put uh, you know node.js look at this TypeScript is showing an error it says hey node.js is not assignable to type category so you can just use node.js you can use node in fact if you just press ctrl and space you can see all the options django express mongo node react cool so this project is made only using react because this is only front-end project and then I have the key text so react charges material ui all the other technologies so just save this this is my one object it means this is my one project and let me just copy all the other objects okay so here it is my other projects and by the way guys if you want to use this data i'll put this data in the description box in fact i'll put all the source code in the description box so you can just use that and i'll also put the images so if you want to use the images you can definitely use that cool so this is again the same data look at this i have the name image path deployed url github url category description key take okay so just save this and let's just put the images drag all to this images folder cool and by the way guys make sure your image name is correct look at this this is dev.jpg and dev.jpg here it is my dev.jpg so just close this our data is ready just save the file close the file close this type.ts go to projects.ts inside this pages folder have this projects.tsx not ts come on okay so let's design the layout remove this projects cool so at the top i'll put a nav bar right so nav nav bar i'll add the functionalities later and then i'll have a div which will hold all my projects so inside a brace just grab our projects data should be auto imported oh this will not work that is because the component has the same name so just change this to capital projects also change this default to capital projects cool and now just try to auto import this should be auto imported from data here it is cool so just map over this i'll get every project as project and then inside a div oh my hint i'll show our project card and again i am wrapping this with a div that is because i need to use my framer motion animation project card cool so let's create this component go to components folder create a new file project card dot tsx refce cool let's use the type for the typescript so this project card is a functional component should be auto imported yep let's use the generic inside this generic i can define my type so I'll get the property project which is an object and the interface of this object is I project uh -huh, auto imported cool okay so just save this and let's just restructure okay so from the projects not projects project just get the name actually I need all of this image path control and space category comma control and space deployed url comma control and space description comma control and space control and space control and space key tags save this cool and now just go to projects.tsx import this control and space auto imported cool just pass the data that's why it is showing red so pass the project as project cool save this i also need to pass the key the unique what is the unique value this is project.name name is the unique okay so just save this i need to create a grid on this div so just use class name of course grid the grid will be 12 columns grid so grid columns 
or my shortcut is not working 12 a gap of 4 and margin at top and bottom 3 and then just come to this div this inner div and just define how many columns a single div should take so for the mobile screen which is normally the extra small screen it will take all the 12 columns so column span 12 and then from the smaller screen so the breakpoint sm every div will take six columns cool and then from the large screen so lg breakpoint every div will take four column so column span four cool just add a padding p2 at all sides save this nice let's go to project card and let's just show the name for now name and let's see what we have oh ho, here it is i have my grid so one row is showing three columns from the large screen just go to this mobile screen the extra small responsive click on moto g4 aha good every row is showing a single column cool a single column means single project okay so let's add the data in our project start component but before that let's again see the layout because this is slightly complicated okay so this is my single project card and if i click on this here is some other details right so this is again a div and it will be only shown if i click on this so i can create a state and if the state is true i'll show this div and then inside that parent div i'll have the smaller divs div image button paragraph whatever you want to create okay so let's do that just go to this project card remove this name okay so first create this one first this image and this paragraph paragraph or span whatever so image and by the way guys i'll be using the next image component in the next section let's just go step by step okay so the source is image path image path alt is image name oh sorry not image name project name i guess only name bro and the class name is what cursor pointer my vs code is again very slow cool and then after that i'll have a paragraph which will show the name of the project name no i can't type name cool save this and just add some class on this paragraph my2 take center normal css cool and then i'll create this second div the second div is this one so if i click on this this is the second div the whole div let's create this one so this div will also be a grid so div dot grid i'm just using emit emit syntax and from the medium screen it will be a grid of columns 2 grid columns 2 save this okay so inside this let's create the left section inside this left section i'll have the image so let's copy this image oh see cool i don't need this cursor pointer here cool and then inside a div i'll put the github link and the deploy link so an anchor tag the hrep is github url cool i need to use an icon so the icon is ai fill github let's see my auto import should do my job wow yeah it is auto imported i can see that yes look at this ai fill github is imported from react icon slash ai cool and then after that just span span github save this just copy this one again the second one is this deployed url the icon is ai field project auto imported cool and the text is project nice save this that's my left section is ready let's close this cool go for the right section front end is the hardest part of web development okay so for the right side let's create another div and this will hold my project name so h2 name my description h3 description and then all the key takes right so look at this key takes so this key takes this is an array so i just need to map over this and render this key take key take so key takes dot map get every data as take and just render a span of oh, my emit is not working again cool inside the span the value is take cool just use a key 
is what you can use the index if your list is not getting modified you can use the index as a key but i can just use the take as the key cool save this that's it for the second div just close this and then after the second div i'll create an icon to close this div this icon look at this this cross icon so this is a button button i'll be using an icon so md close come on auto import good job the size is 30 so let's see our layout go to localhost 3000 refresh oh ho, ho, ho. okay so now basically i need to hide this second div and i'll be only showing this if i click on this image or the project so if i click on this project i'll show the second div so for that let's create a state so you state you state the state is so detail the name of the state the setter is set so detail you state should be auto imported nice and the initial state this is false cool save this nice and then just show this second div conditionally so if the show detail is true i'll show this second div so just wrap this second div with this condition put this end brace here is it okay no here cool save this nice so if i click on this image this first image so just use an on click so on click i'll set the show detail to true cool and just copy this on click and then just go to this button this button is inside this div by the way inside this second div okay so if i click on this button i'll make this false okay let's test this go to localhost 3000 nice so second div is hidden if i click on this image i have my second div which is the details if i click on this icon the close icon nice this is closed uh -huh, test this cool click on this dev talks beautiful and now i need to show this second div above this image component look at this so obviously this is a position of absolute so let's do that go to the second div and set the class name absolute this is from top 0 and left 0 set the g index to 10 20 999 set the height to auto and the width to full means with 100 percent and just add a gap of x 12 so the gap between the grids cool save this and as this is absolute i need to make the parent relative this parent no not this parent just go to this projects.tsx and set the wrapper div the div which holds all our projects component and set this div to relative cool save this and now let's see uh-huh close this nice click on this beautiful this is not looking good because i have not used any background color so let's use the background color go to the project card go to the second div so our text is black the background color is bg gray 100 cool and for the dark variant the text color is white of course and the background color is bg gray sorry bg dark 100 save this and let's see click on this project nice and by the way guys i have told you that i need to change this blue color because this blue color is looking odd and the reason is i made a typo so just go to stellion.config.js and then just go to this dark this is 0a 0b 0e save this cool nice so that's all the hard part is done of this layout now i can use some you know basic css so just go to this project card project card not projects card i can see the button so let's design this add class name this is absolute from top 3 and right 3 cool this is rounded so rounded full just add padding at all side one unit remove the outline on focus so focus outline none 
save this so the background color is bg gray 200 and for the dark variant this is bg of dark 200 save this just open this div the first div which holds our links let's quickly design this div class name flex justify center margin and top and bottom 4 space between the items around 3 unit cool target this anchor tag actually target both the anchor tag because this has the same styles okay so class name flex item center horizontally centered px 4 unit padding at top and bottom around 2 unit space between the items around 3 unit increase the font size so text large at the background color so bg gray 200 just be consistent for the dark variant this is bg dark 200 again done with this div close this open the second div okay name description and key tag let's just see how it is looking nice yeah quite cool i need to add some padding at the parent div i'll do that later just target this name class name oops margin at bottom 3 unit text extra large font weight medium because this is the name it you need to give some weight okay from the medium screen i want the text to be excel sorry to excel target this description there is three tag class name mb3 unit font weight medium cool target the div which holds our key text class name flex flex wrap so that it creates a new row and then margin at top 5 unit space x around 2 unit text size small and add some data spacing so tracking wider cool and then target the span add class name and by the way guys if it seems boring the tailwind css part you will get the source code in the description box so you can just copy the styles okay so add padding x 2 unit padding y 1 unit margin y 1 unit bg gray 200 save this uh huh looks better change the background color for the dark variant this is bg dark 200 and just make this rounded not fully rounded but rounded small save this uh huh cool just add some padding at the parent div this parent div add padding to unit at all side cool nice and now just go to its projects.tsx and target this div the single div and add some background color so bg gray 200 i don't want to skip this ui designing part guys because this is one of the most important part of this project so i just don't want to skip that okay so for the dark variant this is bg dark 200 and just give it a rounded border and i love tailwind save this let's see uh-huh i need to give some space at right and left okay we'll fix that and let's add some padding at this parent div so for that just go to this projects.tsx and just target this parent div parent a grandfather div target this class name this is px5 and py2 so padding at top and bottom two unit i want to give this a fixed height so just use inline css style height around 65 viewport height you can experiment with your layout and give this a good height and i want this overflow wide scroll so overflow cool save this should look better nice click on this copy trigger yeah it looks nice now i need to design this navbar this cute navbar i will cover this navbar in a separate section because there are some functionalities i need to add on this navbar so that's it for this video and by the way guys if you are enjoying this project please show some support please hit the like button please subscribe the channel at least show some support so that i can continue this project okay so that's it see you in the next video bye